Hello, welcome to Wheels Wheels and welcome to move in day two at the Kansas City World of Wheels here at the Bartle Hall Convention Center. As you can see, the lineup of cars trying to wait to get in that are being trailered to try to get inside the South Dock here in the, at the Convention Center. So the cars actually come in the South Dock and then they, they'll come through the cones, go up to the tables and register. They'll get their assigned parking places. Then they'll head on back in the convention center, park their cars and clean them up because it's a rainy day here in Kansas City. Now this is what move-in day is truly about. The amount of time and effort that people go through to not only clean their cars up, but to set up displays is, you just wouldn't believe it. I don't think the average member that's going to walk through this show Saturday and Sunday or Friday, Saturday and Sunday, realize the amount of time and effort that people put into cleaning, detailing their cars and setting up their displays. Don't want to disturb these guys too much because they're busy working. <laughs> Everybody working hard on their cars. Actually getting in all the nooks and crannies with some metal polish to yep. get her shined up. Lots of hard work going into these things. Lots of hard work. People invent ways to be able to get stuff back and forth to their cars because Bartle Hall is so big. Vendors getting merch ready for the show. Right feet. Rags into the wire spoke wheels to make sure everything is clean. Uh, Looking good. Final touches working on displays. Now here's an example of a car that is dragged on a regular basis. So he's in here cleaning it up, getting it ready. Getting ready for the show. Looks good. Look at the time and effort put into this display. The car showcased like cherry on the top. They brought in a bunch of detailing supplies and tool kits. And it all cleaned up. More vendors setting up displays. A lot goes into putting on the show. Now make sure you check out the displays here too. They're incredible. This one is painted up like a road. Looks like the deputy sheriff has got him somebody pulled over for speeding. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this in the video before, but because it rained here in Kansas City, they're really having to come out and do a lot of work to get their cars cleaned up. Right. Get buckets of water, buckets of wipe water. down the car, yep. trying their best not to scratch the paint on these gorgeous paint jobs. Yes, sir. You have to get created, creative on days when it's uh, the weather just doesn't cooperate for these car shows. People bring out all kinds of stuff, wireless washes. Got it all waxed up looking good. Yeah. This gentleman's trying to get parked in his assigned spot. I wish it was smell a vision. Smell the raw gas coming out of this one. This is the area where they come in with trailers and they'll park and then they'll take them off and roll them into the hall. That's going to be probably road 
Takes teamwork. Huh? Takes teamwork. Yeah. They judge every detail at these car shows to include the displays. So people yeah. take meticulous time to lay them out exactly as they want them. So you can see the undercarriage and everything. Oh, look at the paint job on the car. Even got the vacuum cleaner out, get the carpets clean. I know this is a short video, but I just wanted to come down to one of the move-in days to show you how much work, how much time and effort go in for an individual displaying a car in this show, what all they have to go through. It's painstaking, especially on a day like today when it's raining in Kansas City. So anyway, please remember to like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button down there for me. I really appreciate that. And as always, hang loose, keep the shiny side up. Thanks. Bye.